right, now the last thing we're going to cover in this data manipulation part of the course is revision history. So this is something that's unique to uh, Google Docs and is especially useful when you're sharing this with somebody. So let's say, let's see, we've, let's see what our sharing configurations are here. Let's change this to anyone with the link can edit, save. All right, now I'm gonna copy this link and open it in an incognito window. So I'm no longer signed into anything. And now when I make changes on the spreadsheet, we'll see it reflected in our original sheet showing the changes that I've made using revision history. So let's say I add a couple things here. So here's a change I'm making. Cool, so you can also see who else is viewing this. Uh, you can have comments, you can open chat with somebody, which is kind of cool. So, ah, but you need to sign in to do that. We'll get to that feature later, but let's see what I wrote here. So here's a change that I'm making. So now if we look at this, you can see, oh, whoa, oh, anonymous koala, which is me from incognito, has just made this change. And now what you can also see is revision history. So what that means is you can see that at 527, Anonymous made this change, and it's highlighted in blue. And then if we said 520, Justin Marriage made this change, we can restore this revision if we don't like a change that somebody made. So let's do restore this revision. And boom, restored revision today, 520 p.m. Uh, now we should see once it's finished loading, we should see that that little bit of text that I just wrote in incognito disappear. And there we go. It's no longer there because I restored it to an earlier version. So pretty cool tool, especially useful, as you can imagine if you're working at a company, if you're sharing a spreadsheet with other people, you can show them that, or you can easily see who has made what revisions. And if someone makes a mistake, like deletes all your data, makes an incorrect spelling or does whatever, you can easily revert to a previous version and their mistake is just gone. So really, really useful tool I'd like you to keep in mind. It's especially helpful for collaboration and working with multiple people. So that's it for data manipulation. Next, we're gonna move on to formulas and functions, which is some of the more complex stuff you can do with Google Docs. You can do the same in Excel, but I'm gonna show you some formulas and functions that Excel can't use and then uh, there's a lot of cool stuff to explore and discover. So looking forward to it. See you in the next lecture.